in any event. Got to commit, I guess. Yep, I'm not throwing anybody under the bus. I was just <laughs> stating facts. Um, so here we go. <laughs> Fox and G. <laughs> <laughs> and opening up already strong with the rest. Oh Fox, my god! You need to calm down! Wow, Jeez. come on, man. We just got into the match. Come on, man. This guy, his Whew. punish game is so sick, and this is why, you know, you saw him win Dreamhack. Of yeah. course, you know, we could also uh, attribute it to the fact that, um, well, let's see. Sheik was nerfed, Fox was nerfed. But yeah. at the end, of, uh, we're not going to discount the win. No, no, not no. at all. Oh my god, that crouch was crazy. It allowed the Sheik to grab the Fox. <laughs> really good punish right there. Mm -hmm. Something that we don't quite see from Sheik too often. Charge up smash. More of a Fox thing, but yeah. you know. It works. It's a, that's fair to rest. That's super. Oh my oh god. My Hungry gosh. Box, just stop. Come on, man. Okay, um, at this juncture, oh, I feel like punish. somebody just needs to make a highlight of Hungry Box in this particular match. Yes. Or just any match where he had multiple rests. GR Smash, are you watching? He probably is. He probably is. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely is. <laughs> oh my god, he's going to get arrested. Yeah. See you later. Okay. I think the fire. Oh god, the fire okay. has been ignited in HBox and Axe. They're like, we're in losers. This is. <sighs> You guys messed up putting us in losers. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, in that shock! Axe yes. finally has an opportunity to show out. He's like, <laughs> dude, I could have get even one stock, and then he finally gets it. He's like, yes, tail spike. For real. Yeah. Axe. Hargy Box is stealing all the kills right now. Oh, What's man. going on? Jeez. And minute 30. Oh! oh. That's okay. side B, buddy. Down B is rest. <laughs> well, here we go. Reno. With this opportunity to try to make something happen here. He has a three stock deficit. Okay. And that chance two? No rest. Not yet. Okay. Yeah, okay Thank you, you Hungry Box. And this time he says, I'll just go for the optimal Dude, punish. That's crazy. Yeah. That was like six rests. Look okay. out. Hungry Box is so happy. Oh, yeah. Did you see how many times I rested there? Yeah, he, and yeah I saw like, that rest. He's like, yeah, we have, dude, but did you see my tail spike, though? I got that one one, one tail spike in there, man. <laughs> Their team strat is just talking about how well they did in the match. Jeez. You could tell because they're just cheesing, man. They're having a good time. <laughs> yeah, they're looking at the camera. <laughs> Lucky Reno was like, come on, guy. Can we, can we gotta DI these uh, up tilts? We gotta DI these rests. Like, they're going for rests. We know what they're gonna do. Yep. Can, we, can we switch it up? Can we? Can we? Yeah, we can. Oh. All right, let's do it. Well, uh, Reno might go Fox. Fox. He might. He might. I uh, have to say, though, a couple, no, okay, a couple times these guys left themselves like wide open talking boxes punishes. Reno, he tried to go in with a down smash. Down smash, of course, is a, a common move that you see Sheik's units and teams, right? right? They're going with the down smash, and at the same time, your teammate will come in and cover you. But when you're fighting a Jigs as good as Hungrybox, if he sees you're committing to a smash attack that has cooldown, he's going to just go in there and rest you, man. Oh, yeah. It's there like, was a couple times he punished grabs with his rest yeah. like that. Jeez. These guys. But that's the thing. Sometimes I don't even know what uh, Reno and Lucky could do to avoid because sometimes Axe would just hold them there or, like, throw him back or yeah. forward throw. So it's just, like, these are kind of some pretty hard to avoid setups, you know? For sure. All right. We're back on Final Destination. We Hopefully, it won't be a repeat of the last time for the red team. Blue team, of course, maybe trying to, you know, repeat history. Oh, yeah. Because, yes, that, that was such a really good showing by them, if you ask me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, if you ask everyone else that was watching, too, they probably agree. Yeah. I think everyone is in common consensus there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Argue Box Axe did well. Check, Check. mark. <laughs> and here's the punish. Oh, neither. Okay. Oh, nice double back air, and that should be the end of a stock. Yeah. And both these characters are really hard to close out stocks in unless you get like an up smash, you know? They have pretty tricky recoveries and they can help each other out. Yeah, Coach. Jigglypuff with her amazing mobility. Yeah. Look at that in the air. Yeah. Just in and out. Hungry Box is like, yeah, it's a 2v1 situation, whatever. Just deal with the back of my foot. <laughs> Just keeps kicking. And the rest situation. Oh! oh! Jokes on the blue team. But Axe is ready with that DI. What? And now Axe is just going to hang out. All right, here we go. Hungry Box is back in the field. So we see Axe in play yet again. Oh, that pound comes out again. Some tech skill errors from Hungry Box. Oh, uh, oh what's I, going on? So I, I, we could already see the strategies that are happening here. Axe, he's going to come through, exert his pressure, and then sneak in that grab at the last second. And as that's happening, Hungry Box will be floating in the air, just waiting for the opportune time to get that rest. Right, right, right. And what they're doing is they're not even opting to go to try to chase Jigglypuff out there, as they sh they sh really shouldn't be. Yeah. So they're just focusing on the person that's on stage. And I think they're going to do that. If Pikachu's off the stage and Jigglypuff's on stage, they're just going to double-team the person on stage. Yep. 
because they're going to try their best to like punish Hungry Box, but it's going to be rough. Yeah, you know, he. It's really good at dude, just weaving in and out. Dude, they need to stop DIing that up. Like, all that time with the star KO oh, yeah. is really bad. Because the other person gets to get two on one for like a good four seconds. That's really bad. Oh! oh Reno! Reno with the save. Yeah. Reno 911. <laughs> <laughs> Got the short shorts and whatnot, yep. right? <laughs> Loving it. Oh, man. Oh, and you, you can see Huggy Box. Oh, snuck right behind. Ooh, that was a good shield for Mino. Very aware of what his teammate was going to do there. Oh, that's scary. You don't do that against X. Yeah, when I saw that, I said Lucky has to sweet spot that perfectly. Yeah. <clears throat> they went a little bit above the edge, but didn't get punished too hard. That being said, they they do have a slight... I mean, they're even now. This yeah, is definitely a better game. It's doable. Uh-huh. Oh. oh, great yeah. Yeah, recovery from Axe. Yeah, really good pressure right there by Lucky, too. Look at this. Lucky and Reno uh -oh. doing a really good job. Lucky now has the most amount of stocks out of everybody on the field. Right. And if uh, Blue Team doesn't get the rest set if they have, this is actually a pretty even um, set we should be seeing. Okay, good Good play by Reno. Just going, to, just tossing out the back airs, running away from Huggy Box. We're not, right now, Huggy Box almost got that stage spike with the fair. He started, he, you know, got the soft fair, but... Couldn't quite convert there. Yeah, and cleaning out the stock on Axe is so big. Jigglypuff has a pretty difficult time with the two-on-one situation unless they attack each other. Don't do that. That should be it. Oh, no, he's at, 20, yeah, he's he's at, at 18. I'm sorry. I was about <laughs> Looking to say, at what? <laughs> <laughs> My bad. We live in. Huggy Box, all he needs to do is just get Sheik out of here, or he probably might not even focus too hard on the character. Oh, oh this is scary. scary. Yeah. Because then we're going to probably see a potential 1v1 right here with Lucky versus Hungry Box. And yeah. Lucky is no stranger to fighting Box. Oh, this is going to oh, be he's easier. He's going so low. He's going to pound right. Oh, that oh. was an amazing tech side B from Lucky. Yes. Beautiful stuff right there. And we have, yep, Sheik still back on stage. Lucky racking up a lot of safe damage with the lasers. Yeah. He doesn't have to come in close quarters with Hungry Box. And okay. Reno's charges needle needles, so. <laughs> needles. <laughs> needles. <laughs> Dude. Okay, good stuff from uh, Reno and Lucky taking that one. Again, just the no rests made it a completely even game, so... And Hungry Box did flub a few of the rest setups, and yeah. he ended up resting Axe on one of them, too, so... That's true. But uh, there was a really clutch save in uh, Game 2, <laughs> where you saw Reno get rested, but then immediately... I mean, not Reno. Lucky got rested, but Reno saved him with a weak back air. Oh, yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah. I think they want to stay close together and really mitigate all those kind of rest setups. Yeah. Looks like, to. I was going to say, it looks like these guys aren't too scared of uh, fighting Axe, at least. You know, Axe near the edge, though, is... You have to be careful. Yeah. Yeah, especially if you're Fox. There's a the rest. Oh, and Fox lives because Pikachu's a lightweight, and he's going to live. Oh, okay, nice pickup off of the forward smash. Gets a double back air, and he's gone. <laughs> Axe has just lost two stocks really fast, kind of for no reason of his own, you know? Yeah, and it looked like H Huggy Box recognizing this, wanted to get back in the lead. Okay, he gets the up air rest right there, trying to keep the hope alive. We have six stocks on both sides here. I think they had way too much momentum the first game, and they kind of let up. Like, you could see them smiling so much in that game. You know, you don't want to... Get complacent? Yeah, complacent, exactly. Yeah. You don't want to have that happen, man. Their head was not in the game, I feel there like. You go. Yeah. You have to just focus on the here and now. You yeah, know. you won one game. Don't but let it get to you. That's it, yeah. Because that players start getting a bit too comfortable. Yeah, yeah, man. Because the reason why they got that first game is because they were real focused. And you could see it in their eyes, that fire. Well, right now from uh, Hungry Box's posture, you can definitely tell that he is in the game. I mean, leading, leading to, oh, he's, I think he's leaning forward more, more than everybody else on the screen. Unfortunately, right here, Axe, final stock. That's what I mean. Like, oh, they're prized to lose this match, you know? And then they're in losers, and they're going to be down 2-1. Yep, but remember, it's the, Jigs is still on the field. That's true. I never want to count any team out that has <laughs> Jigs on the field. Very true. And Axe is also real capable of taking out these stocks quite fast. And if you remember, um, Hungry Box is one of the reasons why uh, Axe actually lost the stock. So, yeah, uh, just, uh, you know. Okay, just yeah, they're, they're making it back. You're yeah, right. Yeah, look at that. All right. All right. We're back. We're back. They're getting their head in the game. That's what I like to see. <clears throat> I 
nice fair right there by Reno though, just to, uh, he caught Huggy Box like literally in midair after he just like tried to go in with his uh, bear approach. Right, right. And you see Hungry Box trying to go for more edge guard situations now, because he's missed the rest setups more than a few times now in a row. So maybe not as confident that he's going to get it, and he doesn't want to risk it in this juncture, in this kind of setting in the game. So he's opting for more edge guards, it looks like. It's like back throw and whatnot. And Pikachu is struggling right now. Any stray hit will probably kill her. Yeah, but with 170%. Oh, there it is, Pika. Yep, off the top. Now, will Hungrybox allow the share stock? He, yep. I think he has. Okay, yeah, he needs that backup. And honestly, Jigglypuff is going to live for at least two or three more solid hits unless he gets like an up smash or something, you know? The stage is pretty good right now. Okay, there goes. He's going to live that forward air. He might live another forward air. Depending on where he is on the stage. Yeah, and look at the way Reno's playing. He's just going for the platforms. Ah. He doesn't want to get grabbed. Hungry Box losing that stock. That's big. That's big. Yeah, Reno lucky actually up a stock right now. 2v1 situation right here for Axe. If Reno gets a grab, that's it. Oh, that down tilt was sick. Avoided the grab. Okay, really sick forward smash right there. Forcing Axe to oh. so recover on stage. A bit of a slip up right there. Miscommunication between both players. Right. Uh oh. Ah! What's wow. going on? Oh, Reno, no! Reno! Reno! Okay, he makes it back. Oh, jeez, Reno. Not like this. Oh. Almost gets that dash dance. A tech chase with the up smash. Reno off stage. Let's see what Axe tries to do. Reno, Reno recovering high. Very smart as Lucky was able to cover his landing. True, true. This is tense. Oh, man. Axe is on turbo mode right now. Okay, weak back air. He tried to seize the edge, but Axe said no. Oh. That's my stage. Dude, that was not oh, good. Oh, Reno is gone! He's out of play! Oh, oh, the, the up B into Thunder Jolt? What is this? Lucky. No. Oh, no. Wake up, shine. Dude, okay. I thought that he was going to up smash. Yeah. Wait, there's he's, an air situation. He's living. He gets the knockback. Oh, my God. Is, is he going to sweet spot or go high? He goes oh high. My God. No and punish, though. Dude. Okay, that's... Oh, oh, my God, the chokes. Where's the nair? Okay, oh, goes the for the back, back air. air. Yeah, just to knock him off stage. He's trying to get that Thunder Jolt. He misses. Where's the nair? No. Oh, oh and there's no. the SD. Unfortunate oh my SD at SSB Commentator. Oh my gosh! I can't believe it ended like that! I can't believe it, man. <laughs> oh man, and Axe even missed his tail spike, which he gets like 90% of the time! And Lucky with the... Uh, oh, the flub at the end! Yeah, yeah. Jeez, yeah. that was tense, man. <sighs> the whole room was on edge on that one. Jeez. Man, I'm actually sweating, <laughs> and all I did was talk. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 2-1 right now. I don't think anybody see this coming, especially after game one. Yeah. Lucky and Reno are up. They're smiling, and now they look like Hungry Box and Axe after game one. So let's see if they're going to get complacent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, wait. 2-1 two two, two Hungry Box Axe. Axe. Right, yeah, because right, right. there was an SD. Oh, right. yeah. Anyway. So. Oh. That was a great up smash read from Lucky. Cut the charge off, too. And see, no rest there. And uh, the first game, I oh, he's just relying on his combo game and Axe's edge guard game. Yep. I think Let's I, go. I think especially after the last game, Hungry Box and Axe, they're going to up the ante. This is this is uh, the red team's counter pick, so yeah. they're going to have to show out right now. Do or die, sure. they're in loser's bracket. Oh, and Hungry Box tried to go for a jab reset there, but uh, Lucky teched in place and up smashed, so <laughs> unfortunate. Didn't have enough time to forward throw into his ally to get the rest. Oh, man. That's strange. I think he assumed that the Sheik would be off by the time he got there. Didn't maybe factor in the fact that Sheik was at 105% with the slow getup. Nice. I, I like that by Hungry Box. That should be a drill up smash. Forcing the high recovery on Reno. Oh. He's catching on. Too high for, for rest conversion. Oh my gosh. Sick play right there by Hungry Box. Yeah. Everybody's trying to recover really high against him, and he's onto it. Yeah. And Lucky even wants to get out of there real fast. <laughs> that side view. But see, again, a rest could have happened, but he just decided to go for the back air or for the forward air um, edge guards, you know? Yep. I think he's lost a little bit of confidence in his rests as they aren't as on point as they were in the game one. Axe trying to see if he can get one of those opponents off the top with the Thunder, but to no avail. Ooh. Sick up smash. Nice. I feel like moments like that, where you just like catch your opponent with an up smash, just raw, it's like you guess that they're going to dash forward towards your approach. 
You know, right. kind of like that Ume Shoryu for the Street Fighter enthusiasts out there. Yeah. And up throw rest actually was bad for Hungry Box in that situation. He just got punished, and Lucky just comes back for free. Oh, oh Hungry Box. Yeah, that was sick. I was about to say Axe. Oh, okay, well, there goes Lucky. Still even in stocks. True, true, true. Reno has been real good about holding his stocks, actually. Can we talk about how good the red team is at just sticking together, you yeah. know? I think that's the big change that they made from the first game. Oof. And these 2 on one situations are not so good for... I'm kind of scared when I see those 2 on one situations, because I just keep expecting a rest to happen. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Looks like that. There, that's the last of Lucky's stock he's going to have to share with, with Reno in this. Oh, man been missing so many after that first game. Yeah, I wonder what happened. Well, I really like that bear right there. It, it showed a sign of hope for the red team as it pushed both of them to the right side of the stage and gave them a lot of stage presence. There goes a stock gone by Lucky, taking it off of Axe. Axe on his final stock here. They're going to have to be careful because Hungry Box still, he's at 78%. Yeah. I think he's at the threshold for them to go for an up throw up air, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he can just be held and get up smashed. Oh, yeah, that too. But it's really tough knowing that Axe is on the field. He can break that up. True, true. Okay, there's an opportunity. Up throw. He gets oh. it. And look at that. Both stocks gone. Hungry Box by himself. We might have a game five situation here. Yo, Axe did the two on one. Axe is probably thinking like, yo, I, I did my part. Let's see what you can <laughs> do, Hungry Box. Pull yeah. some weight. <laughs> yeah, man, it's your turn now. So let's see. He is in a better position than um, the previous game. Oh, these backers. Let's see. Okay, right there. Lucky noticed that that was trouble and oh. had to get rid of it. Oh, okay. That up smash. I, well, he got the damage that he needed. Now they're going to have to try to find a way to stop Hungry Box from moving again. Yeah, they so want Sheik to get the grab. When Fox gets the grab, Sheik gets like a forward or a down smash, you know? Not yeah. something crazy. <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh, and they're all at kill percentages. Okay, nice. And you saw Hungry Box go for that duck just in case Reno wanted to go for a shield grab. Good right. jab right there, but now we have Lucky off stage. And nice. Swatting Hungry Box off stage allowed Lucky to go straight for that side B without having to deal with an interruption from Hungry Box. Opening. Okay, That's charge. It. Okay, yeah, yeah. Slight yeah. charge, manages to get it, and now we're going to game five. Yo, game five. I did not see this coming. The way that first game went. Yo. It's cray. Super cray. Yes. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where are we going to see Game 5 go to? Huh. We had Dreamland, Pokemon Stadium. We saw Final Destination Game 1. They ran it back on FD, right? Afterwards or no? Was there a Battlefield game? Yeah, that was Game 1 Battlefield. Okay, game 1 was Battlefield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game 1 was Battlefield. Yeah, so okay. not FD. You sure? If they're, if they're allowed to go back to uh, Dreamland, I'm sure they will. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. So we're going to Battlefield, guys. Okay. Let's go. This is it. And this is where we saw the five rests, so... <laughs> oh boy. Let's see what happens the second go-around. Now, Reno definitely loves the stage. You know, there's this old story when he used to live in a tri-state area, we used to call the stage Reno Field. Oh, so really? let's see if he can put in work on the stage. I've seen Axe go ham on the stage, too, with, uh, with his Pikachu. His upbeat stuff? Yes, yeah, exactly. his upbeat cancels are crazy on the so. stage. Might be an even battle. I guess that's probably why they opted for this stage, you know, to just have a clean match. Yeah, yeah. No jank. But sometimes the edge can be quite unforgiving, especially to the space animals. Yeah, especially to Fox. I think Pikachu and Jigglypuff are okay when it comes to battlefield edges. Like you saw that. When Lucky up beat there, I was just like, uh, is he about to perish? But manages to get that stock right there. You saw Axe recovering on stage with the quick attack that has a lot of cooldowns, so that's just a free up smash, giving them that one stock lead. Yeah. Oh, great save from uh, Axe there with the forward air. I don't know if that was on purpose, but it looked cool. Nice. They should be able to clean up both these stocks right now. Looking good there, blue team. They're bringing it back now. Small lead. Oh, sick combo, though, by the red team. Yeah. Already racked up, uh, like, 60-plus percent on Axe. And they're putting him in a bad position. He's cornered in the two-in-one situation. Hungry Box comes back in, though, to break it up. Yeah, literally the moment he came, they just all ran for the <laughs> platform. They're like, yeah, see ya. Yeah. <laughs> Deal with us on the top platform. Jigglypuff, <laughs> invincibility, let's go to a safe spot. <laughs> oh, no. What's going on with Axe? I don't know, man. He's falling apart. Uh oh. And he might be breaking Hungry Box's heart, too. No. He needs to keep it together. Yeah, yeah. Because they're friends forever. <laughs> 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 
What's what going is going on? on? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he cleans it anyway, but sleeping at the wheel. Jeez, hungry box. <laughs> this is a loser's bracket action here. You can't. These is and they're world class players, you know. He just casually walks up there and kind of turns <laughs> around and. Okay, we're back. Back throws. What's going on? Jeez. The moment I saw the rest, I was like, all right, we're back in business. I think they were closed for a bit, you know. Shop was closed, but they reopened. Yeah. Yeah. They better open up fast. They might be half. They're going out of sale business. Jeez. Yeah, man. <laughs> but they're they're all right right now. They got five socks to three. That's an up smash, and there it go. Nice grab combo. They can do the same to Puff, given the opportunity. Yeah, he cut him off right there. He was like, "Yeah, you oh, think you're gonna oh. sweep the spot?" Tail spike. Uh -oh. Hungry Box trying to go for more. That's oh, a charge up smash. Okay, and now the tables have turned. We all have the lucky in the by world. Yeah, man. What's wow. going on? Okay. Maybe. Do you think Lucky can do this? Uh, I don't want to be biased. I'm just gonna. I, I, no. That was amazing getting on the stage. It's gonna be rough, man, because it's three stocks. Lucky, like, I want him to do well, right? SoCal resident. Sure. But I don't oh, know. Oh, if, uh, see? Mm. Like, once you're off stage against either Hungry Box or Axe, <laughs> it's kind of curtains. Yeah. Th th there's like a tail spike from Axe or Thunderjolt, while Hungry Box has like the back air, the fair.